Hi, this is Ronnie, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to Mixed Media Frenzy. This is the sketch we're all going to be using, and it shows one larger picture and two smaller ones. And I'm not going to call my big picture <laughs> large, my biggest picture, but I do have four smaller ones, and I'm going to use a film strip to showcase them in this uh, layout. I am going to cut them apart, and... Uh, yeah, I have me a template already made that's the size of the pictures, and I made it with vellum because, you know, that's like the easiest thing to make a template with. And then I'm going to lay it on top of those little tiny pictures and try to hold it still, and I'm going to cut them out. And I'm showing you the dies that I use. One is called Curly, and the other one's Super, uh, no, Giant Scallops, and the last one is that Tim Holtz film strip. And I did use pattern paper for my film strip. Most of the time I either use black or white. But today I wanted to use the pattern paper. And so, yeah, I did. The paper that I am using for the layout is uh, Creative Agenda. It's uh, by Allison Kreft. And I added one more sheet that was by Allison Kreft. But it was, um, uh, what's it called? Everyday Eclectic. And it's exactly the same as the one that I'm putting glue on now that the film strip is, only lighter colors. And even though these pictures are small, I had to cut them almost in half to get them to fit on here. And that little teeny tiny bit, I'm going to use it. And the only reason I'm using it is so that it will hang out just a little bit farther. I was wishing I had more than four pictures to use, but I didn't. <laughs> And that was a friend of hers from school anyway, so if she sees that, her on that edge, you know, that'll be great too. And she loves to come over and look at my scrapbooks. And the thing is, she flips through them pretty fast, hunting her pictures, and to see what I've made of her. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you, this is pictures of my niece's graduation. Yeah, and her name is Cherokee. I took my ink, and this is a tumbled glass. Broken glass? Broken china? Oh my goodness, it's in the other room. It's one or the other. I was going to use my gelatos on here, and then I thought the yellow is kind of like a buttercream. It's called buttercream. And I wanted something brighter, so I used the squeezed lemonade too. And here I'm trying to just, I, I started to put the, uh, the picture and stuff up there. Then I realized that I needed to put these other things on there first so that I'd know where I had to cut this one in half. Well, not in half. Cut part of it off and then continue on with it. The paper I used to cut the scallop out with was not a full 12 inches long. I just used what I had. I figured I could make it work. The curly one, though, it is 12 inches long. Well, maybe it's not 12 inches. It is, I did have a piece of 12 inch paper when I cut it, but it is not quite 12 inches. But I am inking them because I thought I was going to put them down. Then I remembered the layout in the sketch. It has words on the left and right. Well, I still do not have a word stamp background. So, you know, last week I used a stencil, but this week I thought I'd use the words well, they're the days of the week. They're different colors, but it's the days of the week. And I'm going to put them on there. And here I'm trying to decide what colors I wanted to use on the background of my picture. And, of course, I totally love this paper. Those circles. Oh, they're, they're like... It, this collection is my favorite of all times. They say the proof is in the pudding. Well, I bought this collection four times, so... Yeah, it's my favorite. Uh, that light one, though, it is the one that's in the other collection, that uh, Everyday Eclectic. And the pattern, though, is exact same as that darker one. And I happened to notice that it was the same. Uh, I can use it on here. I need a lighter one anyway that reads as a solid. And so, yeah, I am using it on here. Um I'm only going to put two mats on this picture. I know lately a few times I've done three, but yeah, I'm only putting two on this one. And 
I'm putting everything out of the way because now I have got to put these words down. They've got to go first because it looks like they're on bottom. And I'm cutting one, see that one's the upper left, and then there's one on the right, and it's uh, more of a longer skinny one. And I'm tearing my paper because I plan on gluing these down. You will not see me glue them down. You will see me put the glue in this uh, little tray thing, and I needed to go get some water, so I thought I'd do a couple other things first. Well, somehow or another, along the way, I guess I thought I turned the camera off when I left to get the water, and I came back, and instead of turning it on, I turned it off. And I did that a couple of times on this video, so there is a couple of things lost on it, but they're no biggie. I mean, <laughs> gluing these down, see they're already glued, and I'm going ahead and putting more of the, oh, if I could read that, <laughs> uh, the lid's right there. If I could read it, I'd tell you for sure what it is. We're going to call it Broken China. That's what we're going to call it. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what we're going to call it. And there's the squeezed lemonade, and I'm going to put it on there. And my plan was to put some pink, too, and I forget about it till the end. Yeah, but those words that are in the background, they have pink in there, so I wanted to make sure I added some pink. And I will add it. And see how bright that yellow looks? It does not look that bright in person at all. I don't know if it was my lights or what, but yeah, it looks really bright. I wanted it brighter than the uh, buttercup, buttercream, buttercream gelatos, but I didn't want it that bright. But no, I sure don't know what's going on with this unless it's my lights because it does not look that bright in person. I used some modeling paste here and I made three shades of uh mint color and uh, yellow well the buttercream I actually used the buttercream oh I had them wrote down let me tell you what they are I wrote them down <laughs> those I did I used uh, aqua dolce is what the greenish looking one is and then I used buttercream and watermelon I'm so proud of myself. I wrote that down. I forgot last time. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to glue these straight down. Uh, the curly thing. It, it's hard to believe I only called it curly and that's it. And then the giant scallop. And they don't look quite gigantic to me. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut. I cut that piece off there. And then I'm going to hang the rest below the... Um, film strip and then just tuck my picture in and here I went ahead and cut the film strip off finally I didn't want to cut it till I actually got done in case I was tempted to do something else to make it look longer and you see that empty space over there to the left well it's going to stay empty I am going to resist putting anything there. I put something in the empty spot last week on the sketch. But I told myself I was going to resist this week. And yeah, it was tempting. I thought about several times putting something over there, but I did not. That uh, die cut there, it is from Stamping Up. And I think it's called Swirly Scribbles. And it has several in the set, maybe seven or eight. It's quite a few. I do not have my set together because I put the heart with the hearts. And there is a heart in there. And I'm not sure if it's that one I'm using right now. I'm thinking it was a bigger one, though. And I am not sure where the one I can't, that's in there came from. But the other one I think I'm going to end up using came from Stampin' Up! too. And I'm going to put it by... Well, it'll be to the left of the picture. And I only put glue on the left-hand side of that heart. I didn't want any on my picture. And here it shows leaves in the um, sketch. And so I'm going to have leads cascading down the page. And I'm using my, I believe that's an EK Success 
punch. And so it's not even punched out Thursday, and I am using the punch. I am also going to use that little heart punch while I'm at it, but I am filling in with dyes today. So, yeah. And, yeah, there's the... Oh, and I'm using that branch punch, the Martha Stewart branch. I'm using the back side of this uh, paper here. And I really like the clouds, but I thought... That's good colors for the branch because it's browns and whites. And it does have a few brighter colors, but mostly it didn't. I am coloring all three of the die cuts with the squeeze lemonade. I wanted the yellow three times on there, so I had to look for three different die cuts. And that's the only one I actually had to punch out. The other two I found, and they were already punched out. Where it started to use them on something else and then changed my mind. And this one has like little pieces that kind of stick out. So I'm kind of tucking one over the top of the picture. And here I'm pulling out my stickers because I thought I am going to use some of them. And the arrow says love this. And I am going to mount it on some uh, cardstock. Well, pattern paper rather. I'm going to add, put it on the really orangey shallow. And I'm going to fussy cut around it. And put foam tape on it so it stands up. But I wanted to put the it right there where that circle of hearts is at. And point to the family. And that's my niece's family. Not all of them are there that day though. It's a pretty good sized bunch. And this one here says now is the time. And... Um, I cut the bottom part off. I tried to tuck it under and it wouldn't let me because I had glue under there and, well, foam tape and it was trying to stick to it and I pulled it back out and cut the bottom part off. I probably won't keep it since it's white and I can't think of anything else to use it for. Oh, I went and got these little teeny tiny tiles and I'm going to put she on the red and see those tile ones on that other paper i was planning on using them for uh to my title is going to be today she graduated and then i noticed the ones at the bottom so i end up using the ones at the bottom and it is folded so there are some more at the bottom and they're a little bit bigger and see i was cutting that white paper so that i could put the tiles on it before i put them over there but when I seen the bottom ones, I thought, I don't need that white paper. I can just put those straight onto the page. And they were sticky enough that they actually stuck, so I didn't have to glue them or anything. And this came in a package. I think it was black, teal, and this color. And um, I have no idea what package it came in. I took them out a long time ago, and use part of the other colors and today was the first time I used this color though but my title is today she graduated and I will put a label from there uh, see the arrow one I'm gonna pull it off and then I'm gonna fussy cut around it and well I'm gonna put it on white uh, cardstock fussy cut around it and put it on foam tape oh and I'm using that one right there too and it says believe in yourself and I'm going to um, layer it on a couple of colors. I'm going to do it on that lighter green. And then I'm going to also do it on the darker green. So it looks kind of like it's got a frame around it. But yeah, I'm tucking it down there at the bottom. That's, that was one of the things I was tempted to put over on the left-hand side. And thought, uh, no, I am going to resist. Where am I going to put it? And so yeah, it went down there. And I like it down there. I'm kind of glad I resisted because I do like it down there. I like the way everything cascades down. But, you know, it's it's my nature. Sorry to say human nature. It's my nature to put something else over to the left. Well, I'd probably put more than the hat. I'd probably put something up there at the top and at the bottom. But... This gets me thinking outside of the box and doing a sketch. I cheated last week. I'm not going to cheat this week. Well, I have all over the place. 
<laughs> this whole thing was cheating. I did different things on there that wasn't exactly the uh, layout, but I did stick to the overall configuration. Maybe you want to call it that. Maybe that's it. But really, they're supposed to be inspiration for your sketch. But since there's so many of us doing the same sketch, I uh, thought, I need to probably try to stick halfway close to it. That is what makes it so much fun, seeing what everybody does with their sketch and how different their sketch is from the original sketch. So, yeah, I am putting these Nouvelle Drops on, and I'm not doing a super great job of it. It is nothing wrong with the Nouvelle Drops. These are going on really good. They dome up and everything. But I think I wasn't lifting high enough when I go to pull it off. I don't know. But I had to fix them up a little bit with my Tim Holtz piercer tool. Okay, this is where I left. And I forgot to turn one of the lights on when I came back. So that's why it's not quite as bright as it was. I had left to let the Nouvelle Drops dry and thought I was done with the layout. Then I remembered the pink. Well, I had to come back and take pictures. But while I was gone, I remembered the pink and thought, I got to do that when I go back in there. And I'm using Close to My Heart Smoothie. I do know which one I used on that. And then I thought, I'm going to go ahead and add a few more branches. And um, that's what I'm doing now is adding them. And I had added a couple leaves too, I think. But that's it. I am actually going to be done with my layout. But be sure to check out all the other gals because we all have the same sketch. And, of course, we have different things to do our mixed media with. So we're not going to be all using the same thing. And since it is for inspiration, it will inspire everybody to do different things. I love seeing the difference in these layouts from the same sketch. And, yeah, this week I stuck with the sketch better than I did last week. But, yeah, there's the sketch and there's my layout. And I want to thank you all so very much for watching. And... If you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you like the video, if you did a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And there is my title. And see that yellow's not quite as bright as it was a while ago. I mean, it was pretty bright a while ago in the video. In person, though, take my word for it, it's not near that bright. And... The part that's on the white is brighter. The uh, die cuts, it is brighter. And you can see the dimension on my modeling paste with that stencil. All oh, that stencil was uh, Studio Calico. And yeah, that's it. I'm done with my layout. And I really appreciate y'all watching. I'll have links below for all the other gals that's in this. And have a lot of fun jumping from one to hopping, hopping. It's called hopping. It's not called jumping. Hopping from one video to another. And I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.